G'day guys, so today I'm just going to do a little tutorial on the basics of soldering. Um, so here are just a couple of tools that we're going to need, so just a lighter to heat the heat shrink, some wire cutters, some wire strippers, a soldering iron, some solder and a couple of different sizes of heat shrink depending on what wire you're going to solder together. Alright guys, so I've had the soldering iron heating up for a couple of minutes just to let it get up to temperature. I'm just going to do a tutorial joining these wires so I'll join the purple to the purple. Um, so firstly you just get both the wires you want to connect. Get the wire strippers. These are really handy and make it easy. You don't need these necessarily but they do make it a lot easier. And then just strip off maybe a centimetre, maybe a little bit more. I'll just put some heat shrink on there. So just snip off a bit of heat shrink. Put that on there. Now we'll just twist the two ends until they're wound together. Once that's done, about halfway, and then you just twist them both together. It should end up looking something like that. So basically you just don't want any sharp edges sticking out or sharp wires sticking through. Otherwise, you know, you get more of a possibility of that poking through the heat, heat shrink and then causing a short circuit. Now it's time to solder those two together. So the soldering iron's nice and hot now, so it's ready. And just hold it underneath the wiring until it heats up the wiring enough to be able to absorb the solder through the wiring. So if you do get a bit of excess solder on your joint, just like you saw me do then, you can just give it a little flick with the end of the soldering tip and just flick it. And basically that excess solder should just flick off. But you can see we've got a good amount of solder all over the wiring, all around the wiring, because we allowed it to, the solder to heat the wiring underneath and then the solder to absorb through the top of it. So now we've got a good connection. We can put the heat shrink over, just like so. We'll just grab the lighter we had before, and then just evenly heat it. It's a bit windy today. <laughs> there you have it, a strong soldered joint the nice bit of heat shrink to make it look all neat and cover it and protect it from any shorts. Thanks for watching.